Basically, what we think uh, at Transatel regarding uh, connectivity for car, uh, connectivity is going to be so important for differentiation between the car manufacturers, and we think that it's going to be part of a core business to become mobile operators, become more, more precisely mobile virtual network operators, because they need to control securities, service differentiation, and we want to do it in an homogeneous way across the world. Well, I think there is a great opportunity for IoT and VNOs to serve uh, the, um, the automotive industry, uh, as well also for equipment manufacturer, for telecom equipment manufacturer, because I think that some car manufacturer will, uh, will want to actually invest in uh, telecom infrastructure. Um, so that's where really I see the, the opportunities. And also for the mobile operators, um, they will be much more data uh, which will be used on their network. So for, for them, it's also a great opportunity to actually deploy their network, uh, whether it is 3G, 4G, and tomorrow 5G, and to have a, a usage which will be much higher than what it is today because uh, vehicles are going to use a huge amount of data. Well, I can tell you one of our issues. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically the fact that in some countries you have GSM, in other countries you have CDMA, uh, that the modems which works in Europe are not exactly uh, working in Asia or in North America. Uh, for example, if I take the example of US, the fact that uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint uh, and AT&T are not working on the same bandwidth brings complexity. Uh, which is not really helpful, so I think it would be good in the long term we have uh, some harmonization of all the bandwidth and the um, protocols used by all mobile operators across the world. Maybe it will take another five to ten years, uh, but we will see Car, uh, car manufacturer are going to differentiate more and more with the service that they will be providing in the car for their consumers and, and customers.